on Fox TV called uh, Women in Prison. And uh, maybe I'll get to do a guest shot, who knows. And uh, he's from the South, he's a Vietnam vet, and his name is Blake Clark. Blake. Thank you, thank you. I, uh, I'm glad to be here. I just got off the freeway. I'm glad to be anywhere. I don't, wanna, <laughs> I don't understand what's going on out here. They're, they're shooting at people on the freeways. Like somebody blinks their lights now. I'm hitting the floorboard. I don't even take chances anymore. I won't even ride with my wife. She drives so slow I can hear guns cocking a mile back. You know? <laughs> they're shooting slow drivers on the freeway. I guess Japanese drivers pretty much gonna be an endangered species around here. Huh? <laughs> and they're, <laughs> and they're, I kid the Japanese, but. <laughs> and everybody's trying to outdo the other person. I was on the 405, that's the San Diego freeway. Guy drives by, threw a pit bull in my car. <laughs> but hey, I, uh, it's scary, you know? It's, but if one good thing's gonna come out of this, uh, I guess there's gonna be some real polite drivers around Los Angeles in about six months, you know? It's like, oh no, you go ahead. No, no, I have to, no you have the 44 Magnum, I only have a 38. <laughs> right away is gonna be determined by caliber out here or something, I don't know. I'm from Georgia, like, uh, Gary said, and you, you don't do stuff down there like that because, you know, these guys are driving along with uh, pickup trucks and gun racks in the back. They have eight or nine shotguns in the back. You shoot up them with a little puny handgun. It's like, bam, bam. get him, Billy Bob, and strap him onto the fender. <laughs> hey, let's pull up next to that Mercedes. We're going to bag our limit today, boy. <laughs> I don't understand. I was, uh, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm from Georgia. I was born and raised in Georgia, and I fought in Vietnam. <laughs> kind of like being... Oh, that's not. <laughs> thanks for doing that right on a punchline. I'll go back and do, thanks for doing that right on a punchline. When you sense I'm getting to do a punchline, break into just make noise. It'll be great. Thanks. Maybe I'll just blow something on my coat. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I was born and raised in Georgia, and I fought in Vietnam. <laughs> that's like. <laughs> You know, it's really embarrassing when you, when you... I used to have a mustache and you get, like, uh, stuff on there, you know. It's Because you don't know it's there and you're just talking to people. And what's more embarrassing is more embarrassing if it's not yours. <laughs> That's really embarrassing. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I, uh, I was born and raised... Let me finish this. I was born and raised in Georgia and I fought in Vietnam. It's kind of like being punished for the same thing twice. But, hey, I used to... <laughs> Yeah, I never thought I'd get through that one. I, uh, I used to have flashbacks in Vietnam, <laughs> of Georgia. <laughs> and everybody thinks Southerners are stupid, and I'm here to prove that. But people think Southerners are stupid. And I, you know, all, all of America is like not real bright anymore. I mean, like 200 years ago, we just celebrated our bicentennial constitution. 200 years ago, they wrote it. Half of people in America now can't even read it. You know, it's like, I'm not kidding you. I, you can go in here. There's a convenience store right up the street here. I went in there. They actually have a sign behind the counter that says, manager cannot open safe. <laughs> I'm not surprised you can't ring up a pack of stinking cigarettes, okay? It should be a whole wall of list of things he can't do. <laughs> speaking English... <laughs> speaking English should be number one. I think opening the safe would be a quantum leap for this guy. I, see, I, I don't understand what's going on in America. We spend hundreds of billions of dollars on defense. Hundreds of billions of dollars on defense to defend us from the Russians, the Nicaraguans, the Libyans, the Iranians. When's the last time a Russian broke in your car and stole your stereo, huh? I'm not worried about this. If you're gonna defend me, get me back from Kmart alive, okay? Break me from Americans. Because Americans kill Americans. The reason Americans kill Americans is they get by with it. See, if an American kills an American, we send him to therapy, try to get inside his head, see why he can't cope. If a foreigner kills an American, why then he's a terrorist, see? They just think Gaddafi had something to do with some Americans dying. They don't even know for sure. They blew him up. They didn't go over there to see if he had any letters to Jody Foster. They blew him up! It's the justice system. The justice system... The justice system... The justice system in this country doesn't work and never has worked. First of all, it's based on 12 people not smart enough to get out of jury duty. Think about it. The justice system doesn't work, see? <laughs> it's run by lawyers. I read this in Omni magazine. You know, they're actually starting to replace uh, rats in laboratory experiments with lawyers. They are. No, there's, there's three reasons for this. Number one, there are more lawyers than rats. Number two, there's some things a rat just won't do. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> Number three, uh, some people actually get attached to rats. And uh, a guy goes, I'm 
not making this up. This is true. This happened. A guy goes in, he robs a bank in Los Angeles. He shoots the teller. He didn't have to do that. It was sort of a gratuity. He shoots the teller. He's on videotape. There are 50 witnesses that see him do it. He gets in a gun battle with the police in the bank. They catch him in the bank. Then they call him a suspect. What the hell's going on here? <laughs> he goes to court. That takes 10 or 11, 12 months. Naturally, he's found guilty. He's on videotape. 50 witnesses in the bank. But then he appeals it. That's another four or five years. Meanwhile, he's written like three bestsellers. He's got a movie of the week. The teller still got a bullet. This isn't justice. See, I got a plan for these people. Put them on people's court. So, Judge Watner's the only decent judge we have in this country. He comes back in two minutes with a decision. There's none of this appeal stuff. It's a commercial. The man is back. Justice is done. And I thank you very much. Blake Clark is my name. What you, about my jacket? That oh. was horrible. Very funny. Oh, thanks. I didn't, th I didn't throw you off when I... <laughs> yeah, I'm often thrown off by applause. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh... Suspenders on. Very funny. You have suspenders on. Now, this is probably some, some hangover right. from the South, right? You have to wear these in the South. It's the law. I wear them actually... Why is that? I don't know. I actually wear them on uh, bikini underwear. I wear suspenders and... <laughs> because it's, uh, you know... Yeah come out of the bathroom, just look like a sexy farmer. You know what I mean? <laughs> Do you, uh, so you are from the South. You're yeah, from Georgia? I'm from Georgia, originally. And how long have you lived here, Blake? Seven and a half years, and, uh, strange. You know, when I first moved out here, like, I didn't, I didn't relate to the people in California because I, I'm used to talking like Southerners talk. You guys say stuff like, oh, wow, I'm so stressed out, I just can't cope. I don't know what this means. The Southerners say something like, I feel like I've been eaten by a wolf and dumped over a cliff. Now, you know how this guy feels. There's no conjecture. You know this guy's not having a nice day. <laughs> Which I never worried about until I moved out here anyway. I just assumed if I'm alive and shopping, I'm having a nice day. <laughs> okay, we're going to come right back. Hang in there. Very funny.